What's up? My name is Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll show you how to share a folder from a Raspberry Pi over the Samba network to a Windows PC or any other kind of PC. Samba is just a file sharing protocol used by Windows. If you right click properties, share anything on a Windows PC, that's using SMB. And of course, it isn't built in by default to Linux. We can't right click and share something. Similarly, we can't open a file browser. And on the home page, there's no network tab to see other computers on the network. In my previous video, I showed you how to connect to a Windows file share in MNT. You can see these files from my Windows PC shared here. However, how do we share files from our Pi over the network? Well, it's a little bit different. We will need Samba installed, and to do so, I'll open up a new terminal. We'll run sudo apt install Samba and Samba common bin. In this case, we don't need SMB client or CIFS utils. When we hit enter, these should be installed. Yes. Now we'll create a folder that we'll share. For this, you'll usually share it from your home directory. So ls tilde slash will tell us what's in our home directory. We can also get here with slash home slash your pi's username, and it's the same folder. It's just shorthand. I'll make derm tilde slash, and we'll call it say shared. Enter. Now we've made a folder, we'll go ahead and share it. To do so, we need to tell our pi what we want to share. sudo nano etsy samba smb.conf. Now at the very bottom of this file, inside of square brackets, we'll be typing in a name for the folder that we're sharing. This will be visible on Windows. I'll call it shared. You may want something more specific though. Path equals followed by the path to our file. In my case, home, techno, my username, and shared. At this point, I've just gone ahead and renamed the shared folder so it has a lowercase. Doesn't really matter though. Home techno shared. Then writeable, yes, create mask, 0777, allowing full access, directory mask equals 0777, and finally public, no. What is 0777? 0777 means that anyone can read, write, and execute. If you'd prefer, you can make this 666 for read and write permissions instead. At this point, because I'm happy with this, I'm not going to be connecting this Pi to any foreign networks. It should be fine for now. Later on, you can customize these. Instead of being 0777 or 0666, you can adjust them to be better suited for you. Control S to save, Control X to close. Now we'll need to set a Samba password sudo smb passwd short for password space hyphen a followed by a username we'll be creating this samba user i'll call it just techno we'll enter a password and just like that we've now created a new user for this smb file share sudo system ctl space restart smbd now we need to try and connect to it to find out how type hostname space hyphen capital I, and it'll tell us the local IP of our Raspberry Pi. Back in my Windows PC, I'll start an E to bring up a new file browser. Then I'll head across to network, and you may or may not see the Raspberry Pi on the network. More likely than not, you won't. At the very top, we'll type two backslashes, followed by, my case, 192.168.1219. Upon hitting enter, we can now see the files shared by it. And of course, because my Pi's username and password that I specified for Samba are the same as the PC that I'm connecting from, it just works. Otherwise, you'll need to enter the username and password we used earlier with SMB password. We can right click the shared folder or whatever it is, then map network drive, and we should be able to basically pin it to our Windows Explorer. Otherwise, right click an empty spot in this PC, add a network location, next, choose a custom, next, enter the address as your IP address or simply Raspberry Pi if that worked for you, slash, followed by the name of the folder, in my case, shared. For some reason, it's grayed out for me. I'll have to debug that later, but regardless, I can edit files here. Hello there. Of course, I've named it XTT, not TXT. There we go. And if I head back to my Pi, you'll see that it's changed to test.txt. Opening it, we see hello there. Sweet. Anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Thank you all for watching. I've been Troubleshoot. Hopefully you found this useful and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.